Hey everyone, Meat Banana here with a, another Module AR2 devlog. I promise this one's going to be quick this time. Um, really quickly, we're just taking a look at the actually overhauled, um, still brand new to you guys, but um, the original receivers that I had for, for the SR16 and SR15 uh, were a little bit crummy, so those got... Uh, patched up here, touched up, and uh, are just looking really nice and shiny now. Um, still, same controls as uh, as the original. We have an ambidextrous mag release. That's from my left hand. This is from my right hand. And vice versa. Um, and then we also have the ambi bolt release and bolt lock. Um, you can do it however you please. Um, that is the SR16. Um, you may also notice we got a neato, spicy looking Knights logo on that upper receiver as well, which does, depending on whether you have the SR15 Civi version or the 16 military version, have uh, either CQB mod 2 or just mod 2. Um, I know this looks broken, but <laughs> the uh, kind of stop notch there on the semi-only version is there to stop you for good from making it full auto. So um, just little details uh, between those two, uh, between the SR15 and 16. Of course, this is the longer barreled, longer hand guarded version. Um, in terms of new parts, not much this week, but boy oh boy, is next week gonna go crazy. Um, this Geisley A22 pistol grip that I just finished up tonight is a hint at what's coming. Um, I'm also thinking about uh, walking back my change on making this the, the default Knight's Armament micro site. I think I prefer that, that other turret. Um, you know, more content is better than less. Um, let's see here. Uh, I know last time... We had talked about just how outrageous um, that all FDE um, SR-16 looked. Uh, but I assure you, even with the overhauled models, we can still uh, have just as ugly a setup. Um, you've got your both carbine, mod 2, and just mod 2 options there in FDE. Um, but we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Um, other things as well. Um, as we can see here, just about all of my icons are done, except for new parts. Um, and, of course, hand guards. Still work to do there, um, but we are inching and crawling closer to the finish line each and every day. Um, I'm thinking perhaps next week uh, we'll we'll take a look, obviously, at uh, new goodies in-game, but then we might hop over to Unity, and I can show you guys some of the behind-the-scenes action as to what goes into all of this madness. Um, some other things taken hold-wise. Um, I know we I had I had talked about um, issues with. Um, kind of things spawning where they shouldn't be, potentially getting a 5.56 magazine with a 300 blackout lower. Um, City Robo has added in the background checks um, that I can hard disable. Um, so in take and hold, we'll only get 5.56 receivers now. Um, nothing wacky to avoid um, compatibility that issues there. Um, to that end, um, I can also influence the probability 
of uh, things like mag wells that have a very limited selection of parts um, from having a 33% chance of, of getting a mag well. Um, when, you know, these should be, in my opinion, a little less common. But that looks sick, so we're going to keep it. Um, so those are some, some slight changes to uh, take and hold logic uh, in the background here. Um, maybe we'll show that off once we have some more uh, development on, on that end. But that is, that is it for this devlog. Um, very quick, but just thought I'd show off some overhauled and updated receivers. We'll have more for you next week. All right, take care.